G'day, Toast Rack here. Are you trying to play Grey Zone Warfare, but you're getting game crashes, blue screens, computer reboots? Then this is the guide for you. Now this guide only applies if you're using a high-end Intel CPU, like my i9-14900K or an i9-13900K, and you have a Z790 motherboard. But it does mean diving into the BIOS, which is not for the faint of heart. So if you're not comfortable messing around in the BIOS, this is not the guide for you. Wait for a fix from the developers, which is on its way. Now the problem actually occurs because of the Unreal Engine and how it interacts with the CPU and it ends up with the CPU being overpowered. So we've got to go into the BIOS and set the maximum voltage to the correct values as specified by Intel. Now this was uncovered by a Reddit post which I've got a link to in the description. I've got an MSI motherboard so I'll show you the MSI BIOS here. It's the same if you've got a Gigabyte motherboard or other brands but the terminology may be different. So to get into the BIOS, you've got to shut down and restart your PC and mash the delete key or whatever your BIOS key is until you get to the BIOS screen. By the way, if you're finding this guide useful, do give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot of Escape from Tarkov videos in there, duos with General Sam, Aqua, Pestily and lots of others. Lots of great content there. Now you need to be in advanced mode. So if you come up in easy mode on the BIOS, click to get the advance. And then I recommend saving a backup. So save your settings as a profile and that way you can get your settings back later. Now go into the overclocking settings and drill down into the advanced CPU configuration. Scroll down and we're gonna change four things. The first thing is to disable multi-core enhancement. On MSI BIOS, this is called enhanced turbo. Change that to disabled. Now go down to the long duration power limit and enter the number 253. Same for the short duration power limit, set that to 253. On Gigabyte motherboards, this is called the package power limit one and the package power limit two. Now set the CPU current limit to 307. On Gigabyte motherboards, this is called the core current limit. Now simply save the settings and reboot and you should be good to go to run Grey Zone Warfare at extreme settings. Now, if something goes wrong, reboot the computer again, mash that delete button and restore your old profile and try something else. Let us know in the comments if this worked for you, if it applied to you and any changes you needed to do for different motherboard manufacturers. So don't forget to sub my channel, thumbs up the guide if you found it useful and I'll see you out there in Grey Zone Warfare.